By the weather heating up now, it's time for many people to head out into the water and the CDC reporting drowning is the fifth leading cause of unintentional injury death in this entire country. Yeah, leaders say the best way to address the problem, life jackets, which could potentially prevent half of all boating deaths. Carolina in the mornings, Molly Oak is live for National Safe Boating Week, and she's joining us more with some really useful tips for you and your family. Molly? Absolutely. Good morning. So you want to make sure you're staying safe in and around the water, especially as the weather starts warming up, as the summer starts to roll in, and you're going to want to go and hit the waves. So Ned Rhodes here, the education officer, of course, boating education class is something that anyone who's really on a boat needs, right? Y yes, absolutely. Everybody should have boating education. And there's a recent uh, statistic from the 2015 study by the North Carolina Wildlife, Wildlife Resource Commission, which says that in uh, accidents where there were fat fat fatalities, 71% mm -hmm. of the people didn't have boating education. Wow. And so the squadron wants to change that. And by we do that by partnering with Cape Fear um, uh, Community College downtown. Okay. We use their state-of-the-art classrooms and then we partner with Wilmington Water Tours and we use their catamaran, the Wilmington, as our teaching platform for a four-hour teaching cruise. So with so many partners and a lot of resources, obviously your classes are going to be pretty unique to our area. Yes, they're very unique. Um, we're all about adults teaching adults. We don't spoon feed we have a lot of experience in the squadron, so we like to do war stories and tell personal experiences. All of our instructors have gone through an instructor uh, development class, so we're certified and we uh, 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 recertify every couple of years. In our classrooms, one of the unique things we see is that everybody, or not everybody, most people come as couples. And okay. so as a result, uh, the man and the, the woman come and when they leave the class, they feel a lot more confident on the water together, and they, I th we think they work better as a team. Well, that works out well because, you know, you want at least a few people who are on the boat who are going to know what's going on. So what different types of boating classes do you all offer? Well, I think one of the most unique ones we have is one called Partners in Command. Okay. And this is uh, for someone for the first mate on the boat, and what we do is we have a two- nighttime sessions and we uh, it's usually ladies but it could be men get together and they talk a little bit about boating and okay. then we take the first mates out on their own boats we duct tape the captain's mouth closed and then our instructors guide the first mate back wow. into the dock and and they get some confidence in being able to bring the boat back in an emergency that's really one of the key things is to just make sure you have confidence. Of course, you want to know what's going on. If you are on the boat, you'll want to only have to depend on your captain. So definitely make sure to find one of those boating classes and get educated before you hit the water. Kim and Bill. Molly, uh, Kim wants to take that course as a to treat to her. Course. Here's my credit card number. <laughs> just go ahead and give it now. 555. Five, five. No, it makes a lot of sense when you it stop does. and think about it, right? It does. The other thing, Molly, I wanted you to ask or talk about a little bit is teenagers. There are so many kids that grow up on the water around here. Is, are some of those classes specialized for teenagers as well? And Kim was talking about how many kids are up around the water. I mean, we were talking about how many kids will hit the water probably this weekend for Memorial Day. Are there any classes that are specifically for teenagers? Uh, well, um, in, in North Carolina, if you are operating a, a personal watercraft or a boat in North Carolina, you do need a safe boating class. And our ABC class, America's Boating Class, does count and does give you the uh, certificate so that you may use a boat in North Carolina over 10 horsepower. So that ABC class is probably one to look for for if you have teenagers who are going to be on the boat, Kim. All right. Great to know. Thanks very much, Molly.